Okay guys, um, welcome back to the review show. Um, it's been a week um, since I've um, had anything to look at. I've been on holiday, so uh, I welcome you back. Uh, but today what I've got here is um, I uh, came across these in someone else's review actually. Um, and um, so I looked on the website and they looked really good because my joysticks are wearing out and my FPS freak's getting a bit icky. So um, yeah, I went and brought some. Um, got myself some so basically what I have here is the actual mod six pack of it all into the Xbox. Um oops everything just fell out. So it comes in comes in quite nice packaging actually. And there's me being a mess. It comes with instructions and how to install them, which is always good. And um so what we get in the first packet is we get some little nuts and bolts. We get some stuff like that. Some more screws. Um that is one of the end bits for the uh, joystick. These are the two bottom bits which uh, replace your inner kind of um, joystick. The kind of ball mount thing. There's another one of them. And um, this is pretty cool. This is the D pad. It's metal. And what you also get is you get this, which screws onto the D pad. So basically, when you're playing, you can like just flick it kinda. It would make it a lot easier. And um also we get a uh, torque screw, the security one with a little dip in the middle for the Xbox controller. And we get a nice little Allen key. Nice. And um what we also got was uh some of these. Just some more of them. Um I got the dipped ones as well, so there's like a little dip in the middle. So it's like basically you get these ones which are like the dish kind of ones to replicate like the Xbox controller joysticks you get these ones which are the dome ones which are like the same as the PS3 one and then you get these ones which are like half and half so the dome on the outside and dips in the middle so that's pretty cool and you also get these which are like um, limiters like movement limiters because on the Xbox controller um, the actual joystick bit limits like how much you can move so with these um, let me just find an example as you can tell, like that bit there is a lot thinner than what the actual Xbox one is. So you add these round it, and it puts it back to normal. It's basically if you don't like the look of it and you don't like the feel of it. Hey guys, uh, so welcome back to the review show. Um, so basically, I've installed both the uh, actual like Modstix Pro and the Modstix Grips. And um, what I can say is with the Pro is I am amazed. Um, what it does is, is basically you get you have to install everything yourself. So you take it all apart, and the silver looks very flashy with my bullet buttons. So uh, it was nice. So um, basically, uh, once you've installed the joysticks, you'll realise that the joysticks are actually a lot thinner than the real ones. If you can actually see under there, and then if you look at these ones, they're a lot thinner. So basically, when you're moving it around, you get much more range of movement. It moves a lot further. So actually, like when you're playing Call of Duty or whatever, I'm, I'm not sure if it does, but I haven't really noticed it as much. But you may actually run a little bit faster than what the controller would limit you to, I guess. And um, also with the D-pad, the D-pad is a great idea. It's got this kind of slight little extension bit which you can unscrew. You screw it back on, bloody bar. And um, basically, it like it makes movement. So when your thumb's on your joystick and you just want to go and do it quicker, it's so much easier just to go like that and just knock it. Instead of having to lean over and press it on either side, and you just kind of knock it in either direction, perfect. Um, so basically, I've got the right joystick a lot higher than the left joystick because I don't really need as much accuracy for that. I've got this as high as it'll go, and it's actually a tiny, weeny bit higher than the FPS freak. Only about two millimeters or so, but it's um, it gives it's a lot better than the FPS freak because you don't feel any movement when you're trying to move. There's no chance of it coming off. It is full metal. It's aluminium, I believe. Um, which means it's very strong, um, keeps its kind of chromey look to it, and uh, altogether it's it's a very good high quality product, and they really have improved my game. They feel a lot lighter as well. When you're on the joystick, you don't feel as much resistance. I would say maybe not resistance, but as much. I don't really know the word, but they seem quite heavy than normal joysticks anyway. But uh, what we also have is we have the mod sticks um, grips. And uh, basically, you can kind of pull them off and pull them on, as if I can get it off. Yep, just like that. And um, they are quite they are quite well fitted, so it's pretty hard to get off. And um, 
they kind of they're a nice size. They fit around your thumb nicely. They're only a little bit bigger than the usual uh, joysticks, and you kind of just push it on. And then once it's on, it kind of stays like that. And um, but basically, it then gives you a little bit of added height. So you've got you've got the extra height as well. So if any of you have used the FPS rigs before. Um, it's probably like in between the normal one and in between the, the FPS rig, so it, it's it's better. It, so basically, if you're not you, if you want just a little bit of added, added height and a bit more accuracy, then I'd go for these. And also their grips as well. So like they do give you a lot of added grip. Like even though you, you wouldn't really think it because they're metal, so I was a bit confused at that. Because like metal grips are they really going to be that good? But like they've got kind of like a little kind of serrated kind of edge to them. I'm guessing, and um. It, your thumb doesn't really slide off it. It stays quite well planted, which is nice. And also with these, you get some more joysticks and stuff of whatever in there, including a penny for some reason. And um, basically, you get the ones which are like a dome. So um, they go over the top. You know, like the PS3 joysticks. You get them ones, and um, you also get like the Xbox ones where it's kind of dipped in. And then you get these ones which are like domed around the edge and dipped in the middle. So you've got kind of the movement of the PS3 ones to like kind of move around a lot more quicker. And you've got kind of the dip in the middle which you can use for a lot more accuracy. So I find them one of the best ones to use. And um there's there's not really anything else I can say about this. That they have they do improve your gaming. That then it's not like any other product it's not like every or oh, what am I saying? No product is gonna make you ama an amazing gamer. You obviously have to practice and get used to it. But once you get used to these from adapting from a normal controller, they they're amazing. They're they're unbelievably good. Um, you can make a lot more precise movements. You can make a lot more quicker movements. And it allows you to have your sensitivity down a little bit because you've got a little bit of extra movement. If you whack this on like ten sensitivity on Call of Duty or something, it's like whew, you spin around. You, you can control it though because the length of the joystick allows you to have that have that range of movement and that accuracy that you need. So um, I'd highly recommend them, guys. Uh, I can't remember the price. Um, uh, basically, um, I'll check out the price for you, and I'll whack on a huge annotation in the middle of the screen, right here, right there. Can you see it? Just there. And um, that will tell you how much they cost. And then the uh, link will also be in the description. So um, I hope you like the review, guys, and I hope you do check out Mod Six because they are awesome, and I would definitely recommend them. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and uh, peace out.